Okay, I'm just going to go into creating a form or editing a form. So for you, for this website in particular, there's the form attached to every order. So we're going to go into that. So I'm just going to go into inventory and we're going to click on the chef's kids party, for example. And here's the inventory item. As you can see along the top, there's so many options. We're going to look at the form for now. So I'm just going to, so here's, here are the forms that we've already created. So birthday party booking form, we're just going to click into that. And um, this is the managing section, so it shows you the editing side of it. And then this is actually what your customer will see. Um, so you can see how user friendly it is. I'm going to um, cancel this and create a new form just to show you an example of how to do this. So new form name, let's do a, um, a customer inquiry. I'm going to add a new form in. So we're going to ask them for their email. email address. And then this part here is um, if you really, if you have to have them fill in this part, then you need to put required. So that's that annoying part that when someone gets lazy and doesn't fill in all the, all the fields, they try and send it and it rejects it. So when you're filling out a really large form, it's really annoying, but to the person that's collating that information, obviously they really need that. So um, there's certain fields that might not be a priority, but an email address or a phone number would probably be a required field. Uh, so we'll just leave that. Okay, sometimes it might require some instructions, so um, please fill in your email address. And sometimes you can also have placeholder text, so it might be an example, which I'm not going to bother doing that on that. So add form field. Now we're going to go to maybe a drop down box. There's some options, so we might go. Um, one person and it might be uh, let's put buffet the next option might be a la carte When you click on that, you can choose which one you would like. So I'm just going to show you, and then also you can add in a form field that, you know, has a really large space that people can type in. So this might be, um, tell us what you would like for your party. And this is where they can just write whatever they want, which is great when you're trying to get a lot of information on people. So at this point, pretty much get the idea. You can add in um, a checkbox. You can add in a radio button, which is they click, just do a little dot on. You can add a survey in, put their name, address. You can put a web link in, um, a date, which is great as well. So um, many, many options there. And then you just go save. And then when you are ready, if it's just for example, if you're going to use it for any of these inventory items, the only way um, the actual item knows which form to use is by clicking on it. And it's a very high tech process of showing you a darker gray. So right now we're going to go back to the birthday party booking form, but if you wanted to change it to that form, for example, you would just click on it. So I'm going to delete that form right now. And, um, but yeah, that's basically it.